Hi, this video will show you how to use our databases. Instead of searching through the whole of the library, like you can do through this blue box, when you use our databases, you're just searching through a specific set of digital shelves, and you're just searching for articles from newspapers, journals, or magazines. To get to our databases, start at the library's homepage. Click on the Articles tab. Choose either Search Article Databases for one of our big three, EBSCO, ProQuest, or InfoTrack, or you can go to the Subject Listing of Databases, which has over 60 different databases. Each database pulls articles from a long list of mag magazines, newspapers, and journals. We have lots of specialty databases for business, history, education, etc. But for most of your classes here at KCC, you will probably find all the articles you need and much more in one of the big three, EBSCO, ProQuest, or InfoTrack. And that's what this video is going to talk about today. The first database we're going to open is Academic Search Elite. Click on the Articles tab, Search Article Databases, and then click EBSCO. And you'll notice that there's a lot of different databases within this um, EBSCO product. But Academic Search Elite is at the top. We could click on this title or just click Continue. If you're at home, it will ask for your KID and password. So, this is the database, Academic Search Elite. It has lots of full-text scholarly articles in it. To start a search, I recommend just typing in a few words. I'm going to do Titanic into these boxes. And then clicking Search or Enter. There are lots of ways to narrow down your search, but it's best to leave everything kind of as it is. Hit Search or Enter. Now, you can see it found 5,330 different results. And just like before, the computer can't really read my mind. So we're going to need to narrow down our search using all these different tools on the left-hand side. I'm going to start off clicking on Full Text. I also like Cover Story because these are the longer articles that it finds through magazines. Click on the green update. Now we're down to 40, which is better, but I'm guessing some of these are, yeah, again, about filmmaking and the motion picture. So we can also go again to this subject, the source terms, and here we can choose shipwrecks and update. So now these articles are all about shipwrecks and they're all longer articles from magazines. Now I can print, email, or save any of these articles. Click on a title to kind of open up the article, get more information about it. This one comes from McLean's Magazine. There's lots of tools here that I can print, email, save it. The, comp the database will even create a citation in APA or MLA format. I could copy and paste this right into my Works Cited page, but you'll notice you need to double check these citations. This one is all capital letters, which is not appropriate MLA style, so I need to fix that part. But the article, there should be a link that says HTML full text or PDF full text, and here's the full text of the article. Now let me walk you through another database. Let's go back to the library's homepage, the Articles tab, Search Article Databases. This time we're going to choose ProQuest, a different database with a different look. Again, there's a search box. Hit Enter or this little magnifying glass. found a whole lot of articles, but again, can't read my mind. In this database, all the things are on the right-hand side, all the tools that you can narrow. I see the subject tool again. 
just like with our other tool. We can exclude or include different things into our I'm going to apply these. And now I've got less results. Looking quickly through this list, you'll notice that some of these contain links for the full text of the articles. Others say link for full text. This tells the computer to search through all our other databases and try to find the article. In this case, it takes me to a screen which tells me I can order the article through interlibrary loan. As long as you have some time, sometimes up to two weeks, we can order any article for you. But let's say I don't have that extra time. So I'm going to tell the um, database that I only want full text articles. Now when I redo my search, oh, you can see in my results, it jumped way up again. So obviously my little subject, they got undone. This happens a lot in databases. You click on something and something gets undone. So always keep an eye on your results list so you can kind of figure out what the database is doing. That looks better again. Now to actually see any of these articles, you can click on a title and it should give you the article also give you options to open up the PDF, which is like a scanned in version of the article. And there are ways you can print, save it to a flash drive. There's also citation um, options just like before. Always double check those since they are computer generated. Let's also look briefly at InfoTrack. This is a pretty amazing database and it is available to all Michigan residents. So even after you graduate from KCC, you'll be able to access this database through the Michigan eLibrary or MEL. You by now know the drill. Library homepage, article tab, search article databases, this time InfoTrack. This screen shows you all the products that it searches at one time. I see a box, so I'm going to type in my keyword hit enter or search. Now there are lots of ways to narrow my search on the left hand side. I really like starting with limit search by related subjects. Uh, these are nothing to do with shipwrecks but I see a view more button and now let's see shipwrecks. What I really like about this database is it shows me right here the different choices that I've made and I can easily remove them from the list. Clicking on a title will open up an article and lead me to all the usual tools so that I can email, print, or save an article. And of course, there's that citation tools to create my MLA or APA citation. Happy researching and please contact us at the library for more information on any of our databases. Thanks.